Okay, real quick, the, com the components of the rain barrel are the gutters, which will dump the rain into the rain barrel through a meshed screen cover to prevent debris from falling into your rain barrel. Then there's the rain barrel itself, which you see I have sitting on firm bricks so it won't tip or sink into the ground. Um, the next component is the overflow, which is just a hose that comes off fairly high up on the barrel so that if the water level reaches a certain height, it will drain down the hose and out into the yard. This is important because your rain barrel will fill up very quickly during um, uh, heavy rain. One of the features I added to my rain barrel is a pump system that will allow me to use um, high flow water instead of just a trickle that normally comes from the spigot at the bottom of the rain barrel. I'm using the Wayne one horsepower lawn utility pump. Um, it's available at home improvement stores um, or farm and garden places. You'll notice it has one um, intake port and one output port. The output port is fairly high pressure and there's no, re no way to regulate that pressure. So um, just to save this, my, my home, home from having to have the, the brick drilled through and uh, have a permanent installation, I used this window cell here with a header board um, and I've installed two hose bibs, one for input, one for output. And those can easily be controlled um, but should be run on the full open position since causing restriction in the pump uh, could be bad for the life of the pump. So they should always be run at full wide open. Okay, on the opposite side of our window, you'll see that I have two, um, the, where the nipples come through the header beam, you'll see I have two setups. I have one that's an output, um, I'm sorry, an inlet, and that goes, I don't have that hose hooked up, but that's going to go directly to our lower um, valve, so you can draw from the lowest point on the rain barrel. Um, that's going to go into the pump, and the high pressure side is going to come out right here. And you can see here, I have... Um, it, it teed off, so I have two outputs. And the reason for the two outputs, I'm going to explain to you now the best I can here in the dark, is when um, when this valve is completely shut, um, and this valve is in the complete open position, um, the pressure is going to go straight through this black hose, and it's going to recirculate, dump right back into the rain barrel. So I'm basically making, I'm pumping a big loop. Um, the reason I'm doing that is so when I um, divert some of the water and I open up this teed valve here, um, I can open this valve as little or as much as I'd like. If I open it a very little, I'll have a very little bit of output and I can run a soaker hose um, or I can open it full bore and close my diverter valve. Now all of the pressure is going to be coming out of this hose which it will equal um, or exceed your normal home uh, water pressure. So that's my rain barrel setup. Um, phase two of this project is going to be a solar panel on the roof that's going to power our pump. Um, and we're going to have a completely sustainable water, lawn, and garden watering system without using up resources. And um, we're going to be able to keep some of the roof trap rain out of beautiful Lake Michigan, which is right across the street. Uh, you can't see it at night, but all of the contaminants from the um, daily driving and everything else won't go washed into there because they'll be trapped in my rain barrel and I'll be able to reuse them.